welcome back and if you're new welcome my name is Nikki I'll put my usual video on the screen showing you how to give this video a thumbs up subscribe and hit the bell so that you don't miss out on my almost daily uploads if you are new around here I was pregnant I took 13 days off I think that's the longest break I've ever taken on this channel 13 days off since I last uploaded and I'm no longer with child I gave birth to a beautiful baby uh, exactly 11 days ago so yeah so I'm not gonna like go into details about baby here because I'm filming a whole labor and delivery story my mom actually filmed the labor um, so if you want to hear about that like if you're into that stuff I will leave a link to the beauty channel down below I'm actually just gonna like change my top and film that um, and then also baby's gonna be on the vlog channel I've been vlogging everything because I don't want to miss anything this was my first child so I vlogged um, well my mom and my boyfriend kind of filmed the labor but I vlogged bringing the baby home I vlogged our first Thanksgiving with baby I'm just filming everything so if you're interested in like new mom stuff baby stuff labor and delivery stuff I will leave a link to it down below second update I am officially launching free people mystery boxes let me be more specific they're intimately free people so it's lots of lingerie tops um, so I'm just gonna do small mystery boxes this time if you're interested I'll leave a link to the Poshmark listing down below I think I'm just gonna do four items 40 bucks and everything is brand new with tags if you want to see some of the things that are included in the mystery box I will leave a link to the liquidation video where I could do a whole haul I did two of everything I bought new with tags intimately free people so if you're interested in a nice affordable mystery box everything is new with tags I will leave a link to the listing on Poshmark down below um, anything else I had a baby <laughs> free people mystery boxes let's talk about thread up if you are new around here I've been selling on thread up for two years and 2020 with thread up if you are a seller there has just been a roller coaster um, but I'm still getting sales I'm still getting almost daily sales um before I would say like just two months ago I was getting sales about like two to ten sales seven days a week things have significantly slowed down of course the pandemic the economy's changing I think there's multiple factors that just wrapped up with why things have slowed down but I would say now I get about one to five sales a day five days a week and I've actually been keeping track so the minimum I get is one sale a day five days a week there's about two days a week I just don't get anything um, and a couple stats I have I had a thousand active listings and then I reclaimed I'm not kidding like 400 items and I'm just gonna be selling them myself um, since the whole debacle with them happened in November was it November yeah you can, I'll leave a link to those videos if you don't know about their seller updates so right now I'm about at 600 active listings I do have 13 boxes I'm waiting to be, have waiting what you guys were right the pregnancy brain does not go away when you're pre when you're not pregnant because I still stammer I have 13 boxes that are waiting to be processed so I'd say I probably am gonna shoot back up closer to a thousand I don't know maybe 800 we'll see I could look at my inventory list and tell you but it's gonna shoot back up once they get those processed so let's talk about what sold grab a snack girlfriend these videos are long because you guys said that you want the details so I make a little spreadsheet on my phone I tell you where I bought the item how much I paid for it how many times I had to send it into thread up before it sold because I always keep it real with you guys here on this channel everything I send to thread up does not sell the first time I send it in sometimes I've had to send it in multiple times I am still sending them boxes even though they get on my last damn nerve I still think there's money to be made there I don't know what to cover up first of all I have no business being in a non-maternity top 11 days postpartum so I'm trying not to flash you I might bust out of this this is a BCBG Max Azria sweater I got from the bins and I've just been waiting until I could fit in it and I'm barely fitting in it but I'm just you might see me tug at it I just want to make sure I don't flash you um these flowers are from Bay for our anniversary I know they're huge but I just wanted to film with them but then I'm starting to do Christmas decorations we'll just put it above we'll put the photos of the items over the Christmas decorations sorry for that long intro but when you've been gone for so long I just have so much to tell you all right first up 
we have this Green Dog children's shirt. I had never heard of this brand. It was really cute and it was in perfect condition. I picked it up at the bins um, a couple of months ago. I've sent this in to thread up three times. This was the third time and finally it sold. I don't like picking up children's clothing. Just I can't sell it for a lot. I don't know why. I think it's just not my area of expertise. Um, and when I send it to thread up, it doesn't sell for much. Case in point, this shirt only gave me a payout of $2.43. Now, granted, it was really lightweight. I got it from the bins. I probably paid like a dollar or less for it, but still, I just picked it up because I thought it was cute. So, yeah, I wouldn't buy that again. I'm not picking up many children's items anymore. Um, Gap. Gap is a brand I love to send to thread up. I don't move it very quickly myself, but I don't know. It does really well for me on thread up. Um, usually Gap, when I send it in, will sell the first time. Um, specifically pants, coats, and dresses. They do really well for me on thread up. If you're interested in brands that sell well on thread up that I've learned over the years, I've done many videos on those. I'll leave a link to the playlist down below. These Gap pants, they had like this geometric blueprint and they looked like they were loose fitting. You guys, casual wear is just flying for me right now. People are home, they wanna be comfy, they're eating a lot for the holidays, so loose fitting pants, um, loose fitting tops, soft things to wear around the house. It's just, that's what people are wearing right now. So these gave me a payout of 15.31. They were a size small. I got these on Dollar Day, so I made a profit of $14.31. You guys know that my business model for Thread Up for 2020, if you're new around here, was to net a minimum profit of $10 per item, minimum. Of course, I send them, I send them everything. So I send them affordable brands, mid-range mid brands, and even higher end things. Like I just sent them a Versace suit that was accepted that total, if it sold, would give me a profit of like 800 bucks. So I send them everything. Um, and most of the inventory I send them, I either source from Dollar Day or the Goodwill outlets. I would say like 70% of the inventory, the rest is retail arbitrage. So I'm totally happy with sending them Gap. I will keep picking it up. Here is another brand that does really well on ThreadUp. And when I say does really well, I mean it sells quickly. Usually when I send Lauren Conrad items to ThreadUp, it sells the first time. It does not sell for much but it sells. Case in point, this dress, it was a size extra large, really pretty color. This gave me a payout of $7.32, which isn't meeting my goal. I paid a dollar for this. So I am making $6.32, but it's not making my goal. Um, I don't know, you know, I'm still working on what my business plan for ThreadUp will be for 2021, just because I told you guys I'm moving more towards doing liquidation, getting pallets, and I'm going to be paying more per item. Like for now, I'm okay with this this dress because I paid a dollar for it. But when I'm paying maybe five bucks an item, ten bucks an item, twenty dollars an item, that would not be good. So I don't know. But I do like to share with you guys brands that sell quickly. And I've just noticed Lauren Conrad. I send it in. It sells quickly. Usually, I only have to send it in once, and it's gone. And like I always say, I always. <laughs> I always make excuses for not hitting my profit goal because I'm like, well, I didn't have to photograph. I didn't have to measure. All I did was source this. So I don't know. I'm conflicted. Do you guys, do you guys send Lauren Conrad to thread up? Let me know. And does it sell well for you? Let me know in the comments down below. Cause that is one brand. It just sells really well. Here's another case in point. These Lauren Conrad jeans. These were a size 14, really nice, like gray, washed out color. These gave me a payout of $6.63. I bought them on dollar day, so I made a profit of $5.63. Not reaching my goal, but if I'm already outsourcing and I know it sells quickly, I feel like I could be a little more lax on that goal. You know what I'm saying? Okay, here's another item I sourced on dollar day. First time I sent it in, this is Ellen Tracy. This was a rain jacket. It was kind of like that nylon material. Is it nylon? I'm pretty sure. Where the rain just hits it and it falls off. You know, I love, I love items like that for rainy days. This was a size extra large. I love sending bigger sizes to thread up. I just love selling bigger sizes. If you think about it, if you look at the average, I don't like saying average, air quotes, size of an American woman, Everybody's not a size zero or petite, uh, sizes range. So I like to have all types of sizes, but I've just noticed that larger sizes do really well. This, I got on dollar day. First time I sent it in, 
gave me a payout of $15.62, so I made a profit of $14.62. I will take that, friends. I will take it. Um, let's go to these Calvin Klein pants. These were so cool. This does not look like something Calvin Klein would usually make. It has like this geometric print. They were um, kind of like loose fitting. I've shown this to you guys in a haul. I remember showing it to you and being like, these pants are so cool. You guys, I paid a dollar for these. First time I sent them in and they gave me a payout of $24.66. Calvin Klein is a brand that you wanna be on the lookout for to send to thread up. Now, not everything sells great. Like for example, business wear is not moving any brand for me right now but I don't pick up a lot of their basics like they have a lot of um, basic blazers basic pants but if you can find something with like a print like this sometimes you'll find or a print like these pants from Calvin Klein they tend to do really well these were a size medium and it was the first time I sent them in Calvin Klein actually does do some pretty cool prints some standout pieces. I've just been trying to stay away from like a lot of their business wear because in LA I find so many of their blazers, their dress pants, their dress skirts, and they're just not moving the way that were the way they were like a year or two ago. So these were cool. They caught my eye. I'm glad I picked them up. Here's one of the few things retail arbitrage that I sent in. This was made well. It was brand new with tags. I bought these when Madewell had that huge sale. Do you guys remember? It was earlier in 2020. It was like right when the pandemic started. I spent way too much money because a lot of the stuff is just really slow moving. It's oversaturated. I feel like a bunch of resellers bought all the same stuff. So it's been moving so slow. So I always tell you guys, and I should practice what I preach. Don't panic buy. Just because you see a good sale, just because something is new with tags, does not mean you should buy it. Research, are a lot of people buying it? Are a lot of resellers buying it? Is it going to be saturated? And this was saturated, but finally sold. Sent it to ThreadUp, first time I, I sent it in. I say finally sold because I tried to sell this myself for months and it wasn't moving, so I was like, let me just send it to ThreadUp. So I paid, I think, six or seven dollars for this. This was a Madewell short sleeve blouse size large. I was going to keep it during pregnancy, but it's kind of cropped. <laughs> I had no business wearing anything cropped. If you've seen any of my pregnancy updates um, on the beauty channel, I just got very large. So I was like, I'm not going to keep this. So this gave me a payout of $25.33. Not great. Not horrible. I still made a profit because I I remember either I paid like six, it was a weird number. It was like $6.23 or something. So I made my money back and I made a profit, but it did take months and months to sell. And I still have so much of that Madewell stuff that hasn't sold. So if you're interested, check out my Poshmark closet down below. Um, these pants, I picked them at the, up at the bins. They were new with tags. I've never heard of this brand. I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's L-I-U-C-E. Lucy? Luce? I don't know. These give me a payout of $6.08. This was really sad because I thought these would do better because they had, I showed these to you guys in a haul. They had a lot of rhinestones all over the back pockets and they just, they honestly felt like really thick, good quality, but the first time I sent it in, they didn't sell for much. I wouldn't pick that up again. Um, that was when I was in testing mode and I would just send anything to thread up. For 2021, I know I'm not doing that. You need to have a plan on what you're sending to thread up before you send it in just because of their new fee structure, which I go into in that video that I'll link below. But yeah, I won't just be sending them anything willy nilly. I will have a plan. This carrot Carol little jacket was so cool. It has embroidered flowers all over the front of it. It was a size large and it sold and it gave me a payout of $15.14 another dollar day pickup so i made a profit of 14 14 which i am happy with that was a really nice jacket i loved the embroidery it almost looked like it was hand sewn it was really nice um snow pants this is roebuck and company never heard of the brand but i always tell you guys outdoor active wear is huge right now and don't even just think seasonal like don't think you need to just be buying snow pants buy tennis wear buy swim wear people want to get out of the house but social distance i feel like because this stuff is just flying off the shelf so i've sold so many ski suits lately so many snow pants i mean if you can find more winter outdoor active wear wear that's good but i, I source things year round so these i picked up um on dollar day 
and they gave me a payout of fifteen twenty-eight. I will take that all day. They were a size large and they sold very quickly. This was the first time I sent it in and it sold within three days of this bag going live. So be on the lookout for it, friends. Be on the lookout. This one, I was surprised I didn't make more money. This is Kimchi Blue, which some people market it as being sold at Anthro. I think it's sold sometimes at Urban Outfitters. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's like a boutique brand. You can find it at various different stores. It was a floral kimono, size medium large. I tried to sell this myself for like six months. It didn't sell. So I pulled it from my inventory, sent it to thread up, but it only gave me a payout of $2.43, which was sad. I did pay only a dollar for this, so I still made a dollar and forty-three cents, but I'm like, eh. I would have liked to make more with that. It was really cute too. I think I actually wore it in a video when I was pregnant. Watched it. I pulled it from the inventory, wore it, washed it, sent it to thread up. So not the greatest payout, but at least it's gone because I've had it for a long time. All right, and the best sale of the week. You guys know I love selling coats. I hit the mother load of coats on Dollar Day in the summer. Um, when the pandemic was going on, people were just purging winter stuff. I told you I buy things year round. I actually did a video talking about how I buy things off season. Um, so in the summer, I'll source coats because a lot of people aren't looking at coats and you find some great deals. Case in point, this Banana Republic wool coat. Now this one has been through <laughs> kind of the ringer. So this coat I bought on Dollar Day, it was a, I almost kept it. It was a size small, it's a pea coat, button, and you guys know I'm not a big fan of wool, but this wool just felt so soft and like really good quality. It wasn't itchy. I don't know, some wools just feel really itchy on the skin. This coat, um, they gave a 90 day window. It was purchased like four days after the bag went live um, and then the person returned it. And I was like, God dang it. I was gonna make such a good payout on that. But since it had 90 days, they re I think when you something is returned, I think they restart the time you have. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. ThreadUp changes their rules every five seconds. I can't keep up. So then it was purchased again. And if you didn't know, if something is purchased the second time, so if it's purchased and it was returned, and then it goes back live on their channel, and it's purchased the second time, you get paid out immediately. And that's what happened last week. Someone purchased it for the second time, and it gave me a payout of one twenty three thirteen. I paid a dollar for this, friends. So we are in the profit of $122.13. This is why I love sourcing off season. I will hold on to things. I will send it to thread up because when it's in season, people will buy it. Or you never know, someone might be going somewhere cold in the summertime and need a coat. So this was the best sale of the week. You guys know I like to, I like to put these at the end just to like keep you watching. Although you guys are really great. On this channel, the video, the audience retention is amazing. On the back end, YouTube will show you like how long people watch your video. It's very detailed. They'll even show you like where people drop off. It'll be like, oh, at, at minute 11, when you're just blabbing about your new baby, like 50% of people stopped watching. On this channel, I would say like 50 or 60% of you watch the entire video, which is very rare. On the beauty channel, I feel like the attention span just like drops quickly. Like the most um, people will watch is like 30 or 40% of the video. But anyways, see, I probably lost like 20% of you right there. Just giving you education on YouTube. I was very happy about this sale just because things have slowed down on ThreadUp. Um, yeah, you guys. I mean, I'm feeling it too. A lot of you message me and ask me, are, slow, are sales slowing down for you? Let me move over so I can see my flowers. I love that. That's like my favorite bunch of flowers he's ever given me. I love those. And they smell amazing. You're going to be seeing those until literally they turn brown and fall off. But um, sales have slowed down. So I'm always grateful. If I get like one or two high-end sales like that a week, I'm like, hallelujah. This is why I send everything to them. I send lower end things because they, they tend to move quicker. It's a quick profit. And I send those higher end items and just hope that they sell. And, you know, so that was a great sale for the week to end off the week. But things have slowed down. 
I'm hoping they'll pick up. They keep pushing back the dates of processing those 13 boxes I've sent them. At first it was saying it would be processed by Thanksgiving. Now it's saying December, but I get it. I'm not even gonna stress. Like with Thread Up, I just live and let live. Like whatever happens, happens. I've just learned in 2020, Thread Up will do whatever they want, like every platform does, but <laughs> Thread Up doesn't care about resellers. So you just gotta go with the flow. I'm just like, whatever, they'll process it when they process it. But I've just noticed they keep pushing the date back and back. Now it says beginning of December, so I'm still getting sales. I think that's one of the perks of just hustling for so many months on ThreadUp and sending them before they did these changes. I was sending them about five to 10 boxes a week. So now I'm seeing the effects of that with getting the daily sales, but things have slowed down, so yeah. I think I'll do a video on my 2020 plan for selling on ThreadUp. Sorry, 2021 girl buy. We want you gone. 2020, 20, 2020 we want gone. 2021, I'm gonna do a whole bunch of videos like about eBay, shipping, and my plan for ThreadUp in 2021. But all right, friends, I just missed talking to you. This is the first video I filmed in 13 days. I just missed ya. I will leave a link to the other channels down below if you're interested in baby stuff. If you're interested in the free people mystery boxes, link to the Poshmark listing down below. Snag them up, all new with tags. I'll see you soon. Love ya. Ciao.